So key concepts for distributors now. If you want to do something powerful for your organization, build an event culture. Build an event culture. What does that mean, an event culture? The cult an event culture means people in your organization, they attend events. If they're anywhere within a drive, they're driving, they're going. If there's a destination event that's important, if there's a regional event, they're carpooling and going to that regional event. If there's a big destination event, they're planning ahead of time and they're going to attend. That's the difference between an event culture and a non-event culture. In an event culture, Pardon me, in an event culture, everybody attends. Or not everybody, but a lot. A large percentage. In a non-event culture, it's just like, whatever, what happens, whatever, whatever. How do you make that happen You know, when, when it's kind of not a priority? I'll give you an example. I talked to an owner of a network marketing company last week. And he's very focused on his product. And he's frustrated because he has small attendance at his annual convention coming up. And he said, Eric, what do I do? Because you, know, you do good with all this stuff. I said, well, I gave him what I'm about to give you on creating an event culture. I said, if you decide to make the next year more important, you need to create a culture where all roads lead to that event. All promotions lead to that event. All recognition leads to that event. All incentives leads to that event. All communication leads to that event. All ranks lead to that event. It's got to become super important. So if you've seen the promotional kind of tools to use, one is you need to be committed. And you need to be more committed than everybody else in your network marketing business. You need to be more committed than anyone on your team. You need to, to be locked in that this is a priority. If you want to get people to attend your local event, you got to be more committed than anybody else. If you want them to be uh, 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 attending your regional events, you got to be more committed to that regional event. The destination event, you got to be more committed. If you're not more committed, guess what? They're only going to be committed to, the, to a certain level of what you're committed to. So you've got to be committed, number one. Number two, you've got to demonstrate it. You've got to demonstrate that commitment. How do you demonstrate that commitment? You've got more guests at those events with you. You've got more people on your team with you. You're registered early. You show them your airline tickets. You show them that you're, you're, you've got your hotel reservations. You show them a, a copy of your ticket. You've got to demonstrate that your commitment isn't just talk that you're making it happen. Three, intensity. You gotta be fired up. You gotta be in their face saying this is so important, we're gonna change our lives, we're gonna make everything happen. This is important, is what the intensity says. You gotta have a laser focus. If this is important, it's either important or it isn't. And your focus on, on the importance of this event is either going to build a culture one way or the other. You're building a culture one way or the other. You're either building a culture on non-event strategies or you're building a cu culture around events. And meetings make money. Five is repetition. You've got to pound it and pound it and pound it and tell people again and again and again, here's why it's important. Here's what's going on. Here's why it's important. Right? There's got to be a verbal commercial. That sounds weird, right? Verbal commercial. Here's what that means. When people say, well, why should we attend that event? Everybody starts saying the same thing. We're attending the event because it's going to change our lives. It's going to give us the information. We're going to have a blast and a super good time. We're going to meet amazing people. We're going to hear the stories. We're going to inspire ourselves. We're going to get away from the daily routine and we're going to live our dreams for a few minutes, or a few days. We're going, to change. we're going to do what other people are not willing to do so we can have what other people don't have and we can do other things other people don't do. 
So let's go. Let's do it. Let's have this adventure. Let's go make it happen. When you start hearing that verbal commercial repeated over and over in the team, now you've got something happen, happening. Seven, you've got to have a vision. So each of you, I'll give you an example. When it comes to events, you've seen me talk about this before. Here's the formula. You will earn approximately $1,000 per person per year that you have attend destination event. $1,000 per person per year that you have attended a destination event. So if you, the, the, the easiest formula I know to make $100,000 a year in network marketing is move heaven and earth and get 100 people to attend uh, your company convention. Because you'll earn about 100000 from those 100 people, from the act of those 100 people, not necessarily exactly those 100 people. But I will tell you, this formula holds scary true up to about a million dollars a year. So... If you had 20 people at your last event, I would guess that you're on track to make about $20,000 a year. If you had 50 people, you're on track to make about $50,000 a year. You had 200 people, you're on track to making about $200,000 a year. There's a few exceptions. Somebody's got one run, runaway leg, they don't have balance in their organization or something, but it's really rare. I mean, if you average it out, this is about what you're gonna earn. So would this be important to be able to let people know that this is important? So you've got the vision. The vision is, look, this is here to help you. We're going to get you inspired, and then we're going to help you build a team that inspires others. Okay? So that's the vision that we want you to be able to go share with other people. A, you need to have a game plan. The game plan says, here's how we're going to make it happen. Vision says, here's where we're going. Game plan says, here's how we're going to make it happen. Here's how we're going to get 50 people on your team to get there. Let's make it happen. Let's work together. Number nine, you need to tell stories. Examples of people who went to the event and had success and also warnings for people who didn't go to the event and then it ended up failing. You got to tell those stories over and over and over. Number 10 is inclusion. Including people on a higher level that are going to the event and not so much with people who aren't going to the event. There's a little bit of automatic exclusion for the people who aren't attending the event. And you say, well, that's mean. Well, it might be mean, but I'm just telling you, if you're going to spend time with people in your organization, your best invested time is with people who are, go are going to the event. So it's not like I'm not going to talk to you if you don't go. It's just I don't have as much time for you if you don't go. And there's no such thing. People bring me excuses all the time. They say, well, you don't understand. I don't have the time. Shh, just shut it. I was there, okay? I've been to the events, okay? I was there when I didn't have the time, all right? I don't buy that story at all. It's not true. People say, well, I don't have the money. How do you get on an airplane? I don't care what your story is. It's not true. If you want to go, you'll find a way. You'll drive. You'll sell your way there. You'll figure out whatever you need to do to go. So don't talk to me about money. Don't talk to me about time. What you're telling me is you're not really serious. If you want to change your life, if you're serious, well, let's go change it together. But let's not pretend that we're working the business and we're not going to attend the event. It doesn't make any sense. So you hear the energy in my voice? If we're working together, I promise you, we're going to that event together. We're going to have a blast together. I promise. 11, recognition. Recognize the people that are registered. Recognize the people who are going there. Have a special dinner for people who are going. You know, have a special name badge at the local events for the people who went. Create some peer pressure. Peer pressure. You know how you create peer pressure? Put a list of the people who are registered to go to your convention on your website. Make a list of the people who are registered and send it out in an email to everybody on the team. That would create some peer pressure. All of a sudden those leaders aren't registered and all of a sudden people start looking, why? I didn't see your name on the list, what's going on? Right? 
Accountability. I mean, I, I'm going to run out of uh, a room here. But competition. Create competition with, between each other. If I get two of you to go, okay, I've got Joe and I've got Sally, and they're both committed to go. As soon as they commit to go, I start a competition. Joe, how many people are you going to bring with you? He says, five. I said, okay, fine. Let's try ten. Let's see how, how quickly can we get ten registered. Well, we'll try and do it in the next two weeks. Okay, fantastic. And I go to Sally and I say, Sally, Joe says he's bringing ten. How many are you going to bring? It's got to be at least eleven. And she says, all right, fine, eleven. As soon as she says it, I go back to Joe. And I said, Joe, she said eleven. She's going to beat you. Are you going to let her beat you? She's a girl. You're a big, strong man. He says, all right, fine, fine, fine. Fifteen. I go back to Sally. He says, fifteen. Right? I do this with the people who are naturally competitive. Some people aren't. Some people don't respond well to competition. But you're going to figure that out inside of your group. But I create competition. Let's go, let's go, let's go. If you both get over a certain number, we're going to have a special thing. I'm going to introduce you to the CEO. We're going to get our pictures taken. We're going to go to a special dinner or whatever. You know what I mean? So competition, contests, incentives, those types of things, campaigns, providing a challenge to people. Like when he said five, you got a choice to say, hey, fantastic, five, five, that's a big number. Nobody gets five. You could say that. Or you could say, five's okay, let's try and do ten. And as soon as he gets to ten, well, ten's a small number now. Your vision's expanded. Let's go to 25. And push and push and push. Set assignments, set expectations. You want to get more people to attend your company events, local, regional, national, distributors. It's this stuff. It's this stuff. If you want to get your prospects to attend and take a look at, at what you have, it's detail, it's support, and it's assignments. Okay? So, if you're inviting prospects to home meetings and small group meetings, use those first three. If you're inviting prospects and distributors to local opportunity meetings, you're going to use the first three for prospects, and you're going to use the culture for distributors. If you make, make it a priority for people to attend your local opportunity meetings for your distributors, people say, well, I've seen it already. I don't have any guests going. Why should I go? It doesn't make any sense. There are, I promise you there are great, great organizations around the world that have an event culture that people attend. It's just part of the deal. If you're inviting uh, prospects and, and, and distributors to regional conferences, you got the first three things for your prospects, and you got everything else for your distributors. If you're inviting them to destination events, you got to build this culture, right? The real thing here is this. Creating an event culture is a decision. It's a decision. You've got to decide that this is important. One, it starts with you. It starts with you. If you'll start here being more committed than anybody else, you'll figure out the rest of this stuff. But you've got to decide that events, that meetings make money, is real. You've got to decide that you're going to make this happen. Okay? Number two, get your core team solid with the same thing. And number three, Teach your people to do the same thing. So for an event culture, it's you. Teach. Teach to teach. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. So of all, I believe that there's a couple things about the seven skills. One is the gateway skill to network marketing that you can't go anywhere with until you figure that out, is the invitation. you got to invite people to take a look at what you have. The highest paid skill is events. Getting people to attend events. Putting butts in seats. Being a promoter, not just an inviter. Not just, you know, there's announcers that just announce, hey, there's an event next August. There's inviters, hey, you should come attend the event next August. And then there's promoters that do this every moment of every day until August happens. They just pound on it and pound on it and pound on it and pound on it. Now, 
I hope you got value from that. It's some of the best I've got on the topic, and it's a great topic. It's one that I really, really love. Speaking of an event, I have an event that I want to talk to you about. Here's what it is. It's called Insanity Boot Camp. If you attended the uh, webinar that we let, did last, which was how to recruit 20 people in 30 days, or you've heard about the magic of the 90-day game plan, this Insanity Boot Camp is a live event, two days, that's designed to help you put together all of the elements of a 90-day game plan. See, I believe wealth is found in a 90-day game plan. I, I believe that a breakthrough is found in a 90-day game plan. Slow and steady doesn't win the race. You've got to put together a game plan. Now, I've pr produced some stuff, like we, the webinar we did last month that had a quarter of a million people watch it in two days. Um, the, the different 90-day game plan videos that I put up on the website for, on YouTube or, or on Network Marketing Pro for free. I'm happy that you got benefit from that. But I want you to understand that it's about 10% of what Insanity Boot Camp provides and goes over in two days. If you're serious about your network marketing business, if you're ready to break out, if you're ready to totally crush this thing, then you need to attend. I only do this two times a year. One is in December, right before Recruiting Mastery, and the second is this June um, 27th and 28th. Um, in Vegas. It's at the Mandalay Bay Resort, June 27th and 28th. The only other time is going to be in November. This is twice a year. It's all the time that I ever do it. And here's what you'll learn and what you'll get out of this. You'll learn specifically every stage of a 90-day game plan. Uh, you'll put together your own custom-created 90-day game plan based upon your company, your situation, your stage in your career, what's going on for you, okay? You'll learn from others how they've done it. I'll have some special guests talking about how they've used the 90-day game plan to be able to break through. I'm, I usually spend a significant amount of time answering questions about the 90-day game plan, but this is about 12 hours, a 12-hour experience, about six hours in day one and about six hours in day two for you to totally have a breakthrough. And uh, these are always sold out. I've only, I, I, like I say, I only do them twice a year. They're always sold out. The, as of this moment, we're opening up registration for this 20, June 27th and 28th event. Now, let me talk to you about this. This is one, it's for serious people only. You can be nervous, that's okay, but just, you know, because it's, we're going to go hardcore. But if you're serious, then you need to come. If you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, then you need to be there. If you're ready to stop crawling and start running in network marketing, if you feel like you're underpaid for your value when it comes to your network marketing experience so far, then you need to come to this event. Now, let me tell you, tickets for this event have always been $1,000 each. I've never offered a discount for this event. Uh, $1,000 per person. I do that for a couple reasons. One is the information is unbelievably valuable. And two, I want to know that you're serious. I want to know that you're dead serious about your career and you're willing to, to put up, to be able to show that you're serious. Okay, You're willing to fly to Vegas and stay at the Mandalay Bay with us for at least one night and get the information and go go right to the source of where you can learn exactly what you need to do. Now, two things on this uh, that you need to pay attention to. I've never done this, ever, ever. But we're going to do two things today. One is, for the next two days, anyone who registers can register for $497. That's half off. I've never done that. You could do that for the next two days only. And when that's expired, it goes right back to 1,000. That's where it's going to stay. Now, in addition to this, 
I'm going to do two things for people who are ready to make the commitment right now. They said, you know what? I'm ready. I've been following you. I'm ready. I'm, I, I want to make this thing happen. For the people who act fast, the first 10 people who get it, who register today, watching this, first 10 will get a ticket for $97. 97 bucks, first 10. And the next 20 will get a ticket for $197. So there's a total of 30 people that can get a fast mover discount. First 10 get it at 97, next 20 get it at 197. Everybody else gets it at 497, which is still half off a, a never discounted event. And after the two days, it's $1,000 each. Okay? So, Insanity Boot Camp twice a year, June 27th to 28th in Las Vegas at Mandalay Bay. The link on the page is going to take you to all the information that you need. Serious people only, $1,000. I've never had a single person ask me for a refund in three years, ever. Because, and I, I give a 100% money back guaranteed refund on everything forever. So if they're ever unsatisfied, they can just ask me for it. I've had company executives come here pattern entire programs around this for their entire company. They bring their whole executive team. This is going to be amazing. So June 27th and 28th in Las Vegas, serious people only. First 10 that do this, if the link is, is uh, shown up already, 97 bucks. Can't beat that. The next 20, 197. Everybody else for the next two days, 497. After the two days, sorry if you snooze, you lose. $1,000 each. Be the best money you've ever spent in your life. So I hope you got value. As always, I hope you get value. I hope you get value from GoPro, the book itself, and the audio book. I hope you get value from the GoPro Recruiting Mastery Home Study course that's been out there. I hope you get value uh, from the NetworkMarketingPro.com free videos. Uh, I don't know, well over a thousand videos that are up there now. I enjoy doing that. I'm going to continue to do that for forever. Um, hope you get value just through the connection here. I hope it's helping your team. I hope it's making you money. That's our webinar. And uh, I don't know if you can say hi to everybody. Gail, come here, say hi. She's helped. Hi. Marina, come say hi. This is Marina. Hi. hi. Joe, come say hi. Joe is always my, my brother from another mother. Helped us with all of this. Uh, hope you got value. Ladies and gentlemen, my wish for all of you is that you decide to become a network marketing professional. You decide to go pro because it is a stone cold fact that we have a better way. Now let's go tell the world. Everybody have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.